birthdays for me are extremely special. It's my way of celebrating the person, the life and the achievements. While I enjoy baking cakes, I'm not one to bake the similar run-of-the-mill standard cakes. I like to go off the beaten track and create star stunners. But when the birthday is of your best friend and being a foodie, you need to go way out of track and create a star stunner. That's where it comes in my ruby red pomegranate jeweled cake. In today's cooking, Zia and I are creating a cake for someone really very special and close to our hearts. Let's get to cooking it. We're just going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and get to creating this starry wonder. Eight egg yolks straight into my planetary mixer along with 200 grams of super fine sugar or caster sugar going right in. And we're just going to get to blending this and aerating this to the, quite the foamiest of textures. With the egg yolks and the castor sugar forming one of the creamiest of emulsions, now gets to a slight workout where I form a meringue. So in goes eight egg whites. Ensure your bowl is grease-free so that they foam beautifully. A slight dabble of some sea salt, not too much. And here's the workout starts. Now this whisking is going to take a good 10 minutes of sheer hand movement. So let's get some steps in as well. Now as this has formed to two times its size, here I've got 100 grams of castor sugar that I'm going to put into three intervals out here. So fine sprinkle on top and just get to whisking it and enjoy the sheen that it gives to this entire meringue. What's not a perfect workout if you're doing it for someone you love, right? With this whisk to the perfect meringue consistency and the best way to know this is that it doesn't slide over. You let this rest on the side and get to just folding things in. So although this cake may look very complex to you, it is not. Cooking for me is like my baby girls out here or children. It picks up on your lack of confidence. So work at this cake but work confidently. It's super easy to create. Into this beautiful emulsion goes the rind of one lemon, the rind of one orange, and I'm just going to add the coarsest of almond flour. So about 300 grams of almond flour going in into two batches because I just want it to fold in really well. So I'm just gently going to put a batch in first. The warm yellowy goodness coming together right from the almond flour and accentuating it slightly with the hints that the lemon and orange rind bring to this classic. In goes the next batch of almond flour. So I like to put a hundred grams at a time in very roughly, not calculated though. In goes the third part and we're just going to let it all blend in perfect harmony with each other. With this gorgeous emulsion of egg yolks, castor sugar, the lemon, the orange rind and not forgetting the almond flour, quite coarse and thick in nature. 
Into this, I'm going to lighten this entire thing by adding in this gorgeous egg white meringue. So I'm going to divide this into three parts and lightly fold. The trick here is to lightly fold and get everything lightened. In goes part number two, just lightly folding this in as well. And you'll enjoy watching the cake aerate right with this. So light folds. So that it gets really light and well dispersed. The almond flour just accentuates this cake to the next level. In goes the final batch of egg white. Firm strokes and ooze with confidence as you create this great star stunner. Gently slide this into a nine inch spring foam mold. I've just greased it and lined it with some parchment paper so I can remove the cake out easily. While I'm using it to three fourths of the size, the next is for a treat that I want to create on the side. And this goes into a preheated oven for just about 30 minutes at 160, just so that it touches in. So while I'm using the fan mode in my oven, if you are just baking straight, go right ahead and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius. Sharp scents coming together from the lime and the orange is what's made this cake so truly unique. With this baked to perfection, the proper, golden brown coloring on top. All you need to do now is allow this to cool, but before that, I'm going off the beaten track and I've taken one entire pomegranate and juiced it. Hot and all, you just pour this golden ruby red liquor right on top and allow it to seep right into all the nooks and crannies of this cake. Even if the cake settles down in the middle, don't be alarmed because we're just going to smash some ruby red pomegranate jewels right on top. This cake is truly a birthday cake, yet a tea cake in the making. Allowing the cake to cool with the warm juices that the pomegranate have actually merged along with it. So one pomegranate juiced into the cake, the other one just to bash it right on top. So. This is my way of smashing it out and it really works. A good batten and go right, it jewels and all. It's quite a messy affair, but it's really fun in doing this. With the jewels that the pomegranate bring, ruby red in color, nestled on top beautifully and the red ribbon just to add that little drama and showcase the cake from the board. Here I've got some corn syrup lightly vanilla scented and I'm just going to glaze this cake now. Though rustic in nature, the ruby red jewels that the pomegranate bring on top just style and elevate this dish. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous creation with me. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always say, don't forget to subscribe.